Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. You are probably wondering if you clicked on this video what I mean when I say how I would learn to code again for the hackers edition. The purpose of this video is I saw all of these videos right here and they all have the exact same title. So therefore I copied it and they all have a bunch of views, 782,000, almost 2 million. 2.7 million and they all basically say the same thing 83,000 in 10 days so I thought maybe there was a chance that I could make this exact same video and pull some of those future programmers into the light of hacking for the purpose of good that is right you can learn to code and then become a hacker and you can get paid for it I think a lot of programmers and a lot of aspiring developers just really don't know that you can become a penetration tester or a web application hacker and get paid and on the way learn how to code so that is the purpose of this video just giving you a heads up as to where we are going and the purpose of the thumbnail with the title so for me if I was to learn how to code all over again I would do it a little different because when I was learning to code and I was starting to write programs I had the goal of becoming a full stack web developer and then as I started building web applications I started learning about vulnerabilities and how to fix them to keep the web applications safe from hackers and then I became more and more interested in the world of penetration testing and from there I pretty much just did a pivot straight into penetration testing. I would say if you want to be a penetration tester then you can just learn Python and you can shut this video off that's what you need to do because if you're a full penetration tester and you're going to be hacking networks and not just web applications then you will need to know Python and you can shut this video off go and learn Python and then after you've learned Python you can come back and I will tell you how I would learn to hack web applications. For the rest of the video, I'm gonna tell you how to learn programming and coding and what you need to learn in order to start hacking web applications and the roadmap it takes to get there and what programming languages you need to learn in order to become a really good bug bounty hunter or just web application penetration tester. So let's jump into this. So first, I would just tell you to spend three weeks in Code Sandbox or Visual Studio Code writing HTML and CSS. I really don't spend a whole lot of time on this. Just learn the very basics of HTML because in a little bit, you're going to need to be able to call functions from HTML with your JavaScript. So HTML and CSS, just learn the basics of the design and all the different tags. So the way you're really familiar with seeing all these different tags when you look at source code. If you're interested in finding vulnerabilities in things such as HTML and CSS and JavaScript, then consider subscribing because I make videos around this kind of thing all the time. Now let's get back to it. While you're learning HTML and CSS, don't really worry about making a pretty good looking web websites just make static websites and get an understanding for what's going on and then as you move into learning JavaScript after those three weeks are up learn the basics of JavaScript learn how to write functions learn how to call functions learn how to call loops and then make sure when you do these things you console log everything so you can make sure your functions are working and you can debug your code properly so in the world of web application hacking you're gonna need to know how a backend server and, and the main JavaScript page along with the HTML and CSS all work together so that way you can properly understand where attack points are and the vulnerabilities that you can attack and as you're learning your JavaScript and linking up a server or some kind of backend along with a database the best resources that I think are on YouTube is Pedro Tech right here and Traversy Media and I may have said that wrong I'm gonna call him Brad because I don't actually know how to say his actual name these two are a wealth of knowledge on their channels and I think they are some of the best when you're trying to learn how to do these things so when it comes to what kind of web applications you need to be making, it's going to be really simple. I'm going to recommend to you the Mern stack minus MongoDB because I think MongoDB sucks and I don't really like it. And you can link in a MySQL database. And I know there are going to be some people out there that would say, don't do that. It's bad. Well, hey, we're just learning how to hack. And if we're learning how to hack websites, a lot of these web applications are going to be using some kind of SQL database. And so we need to learn how to hack SQL databases. We can go for the MERN stack, but get rid of MongoDB and use some kind of SQL database. For the purpose of hacking, I know that it is not something that you would probably launch in the real world, but it is really great for learning basic SQL and and things along those lines. And as you're building your web applications and your basic projects, make sure that you build something that's vulnerable to cross-site scripting, server-side request forgery, SQL injection, and basically every other kind of vulnerability that you can think of. So that way you know how to write really crappy code 
and then you'll know how to fix them and you'll know exactly how everything works. So as you're doing these projects, which you're gonna see a lot of these videos right here, they'll tell you that you need to be doing projects and you're gonna be thinking what kind of projects and I'm here to tell you if you're learning to code for the purpose of hacking, build projects that actually have vulnerabilities in them and then hack the vulnerabilities and make sure you understand how everything's working and then maybe even fix them within your project. These will also look really good on a resume if you ever decide to apply for a position as a web application penetration tester or as a network penetration tester as a whole. Here's the path that I would give to myself if I were to tell myself what to do if I was starting over and that is to spend three weeks learning HTML and CSS, about four weeks on JavaScript and some JavaScript functions and for loops and making sure to console log what I'm doing so maybe I'll have a button that when I click on it it will run the fizzbuzz challenge and print it to the console and then I would say learn some kind of back end and I would recommend Node.js with Express because it's really popular in React and then hook up some kind of SQL database. And there's a wealth of information out there on how to do this. So if you're interested in a basic understanding of how JavaScript or HTML can be used for web application hacking, you can check out this video and this video right here.